Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthrus. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request from Dark Hatred who wanted the Ifrit Doug Schneid in the colors of the uh, character Kokitus from uh, the anime Overlord, who uses a uh, similar uh, color, or uses a similar weapon. The color scheme's all new. Um, and I like how it turned out. It really does look nice. Um, but yeah, uses a glaive much like uh, what uh, what the Schneid Ifrit uses, so... I went for it, and I, I think, like I said, I think it came out pretty well. There, uh, the character seems to have like a pair of crystalline formations on the back. I wasn't really able to replicate that in the paint scheme, uh, just because there's you can't. If I could have colored the spikes on the Schneid's uh, shoulder armor separately, I'd have done it, but you can't. So, but yeah, I still like how it turned out. I think it looks good, and I'm about to pull my first dumb of the round. There's there's quite a few dumbs in this round, but it turns out really well in the end. Uh, tried to get up there. I never judged that jump properly. I'm either too close or too far. Nothing in between. So I'm going to head around and see what I can do. And yeah, I, uh, Doug Schneid is still an excellent mobile suit. It is an Efreet. It uses the same shotgun that the Camphor and the other Efreets can use. It has that glaive that causes knockdown. And it, uh, also has a smoke dispenser which causes temporary stealth got knocked back trying to jump over this ledge, but my teammates are laying into this uh, Agu or Juago, excuse me, which let me get up on it and do my combo. And my combo is done, and so is the Juago, and now it's time to get back with the team. Smoke is almost ready. Like I said, Smoke does give a temporary stealth buff. Also a minor defense buff, so sometimes even when there's people looking right at me, I will go ahead and use it anyway. And that Zaku, gonna guess it's an FS, got away from me. Stunned me, and managed to stun that uh, Jim. Ah, got the assist on it. I think I kept it still by taking down its shield, and then somebody else finished it. Grenade destroyed my legs. Not a lot I can do at this point. I'm kind of gonna just... My second, like, bad move of the uh, round is gonna be just hiding behind this corner, waiting to see if anyone comes around. Which would have worked better if I'd thought to pop my stealth. I did not, as you can see. But somebody started to come around, missed with the shotgun, could have tackled forward and taken a swing, but instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out and order support fire, because I finally noticed that exclamation point sitting up there. And I'm just genuinely not doing any good at this point, so I may as well. So up we go. And support fire time, and I'm pretty sure somebody just blew up my free... Yep. So, there we go. That person is standing perfectly still. That is an excellent target. And now I just gotta wait 12 seconds to have a new mobile suit. Hopefully, we'll tag a couple of those. As you can see from the change on the uh, radar, one of the enemies is a Slave Wraith, because I'm pretty sure that's the only fake beacon thing at this cost. That's one kill. That's not bad. That's pretty much, you know, trades ease for my mobile suit there. And let's get back out there. And yeah, the Efreet is, well, it's definitely an Efreet. It's definitely the Doug Schneid Efreet. And yeah, I like I said, I am very happy with this color scheme. And here's a couple of good kills coming up. There is the Slave Wraith, which is now dead. And that Dom's about to drop if I can get the swing on it. Side swing took it down. Remember that side swings, especially with wep long weapons like the Beam Glaive, can often hit things that are off the side of the screen for you. So, and that's about to be another kill. Yep, so yeah, that's three in rapid succession, and here's the Juagu again, so that's about to be four. Yeah, that, I think Juagu got stuck on the rocks too, even, so that's even worse for the poor guy. He's not about to have a good day here, really. And I'm about to have a hard time too, because there's the Dom back, but the uh, Doug Schneid, like many raids, does have maneuver armor, so that's something. The Dom backed off. They decided to uh, focus this person down here. I can stand up here and run interference a little bit without diving headfirst into the fray. There's the Juagu, which I can get if I'm careful. The uh, rubble there soaked my uh, shotgun uh, shells, but oh well. I managed to get the kill anyway, and there's the Slave Wraith around that corner, which is going to pop smoke. And... Again, maneuver armor, so if you know an attack is coming, it is time to boost. And now I'm going to boost in. Just used its uh, just used its beam rifle shot, but I'm still boosting because it does have that flash it just tried to use. 
and that flash also stuns, so you can presumably maneuver armor through that too. I forget whether maneuver armor is enough to uh, stop all of that stun, but I believe it is. There's the Juagu up there again, and so if I can get up there, I can kill it. Um, teammate, I was kind of hoping the teammate would focus on the Slave Wraith, but they, they want the Juagu as well. But I'm going to get the Juagu. This is going to be, what, my third time killing the same person? Yeah. Of course, I am doing my job as the raid, which is to hassle the supports, so that's not the bad news. Behind them, they've pretty much, I think, just given up because they are not even paying attention to me. Chop. Because I don't think I had my stealth on through all that. Ah, my uh, teammate there got the uh, kill, which is fine. And... Let's see. We are moving... Yeah, I pu put my stealth on because I wanted to try and flank this person. Get them uh, separated from their group if I can. Uh, it's a Haimo Ground Zaku, I believe. From the uh, bazooka it's using in the shape of the shoulder armor. Yeah, definitely Haimo Ground. A little bit out of my range. If I can get, get it with a shotgun, I have no defenses because I have no boost. And I'm dead. So that didn't work out. I kind of got myself isolated from my team. That's my fault. And looks uh, like they're pretty well grouped up, but I think I think we've still got the lead, or if not, we're close to having it. We do, yeah. We're a little bit spread out, and I really kind of wish we weren't. Had a bunch of rounds tonight when I did this that uh, uh, we really needed to bunch up. This one comes out better than most of them did. 90 seconds left. I'm probably going to head for number six and back them up. And... Let's see, yep, stealth on. That way, if there's something uh, attacking them, I can ambush it a little bit, hopefully. There's that Juagu again, which, yeah, I think... Most of my kills have surrounded that Juagu, but that's just how... Again, you know, if you're the raid and you're doing your job, that's how that goes sometimes. Chop! There we go. So, let's see if I can get something else in here. Stealth on. There's really no good place for me to run, even stealthed. Because they can see me coming from whatever direction. So, I'm just going to go up here, see if I can get a good angle. Somebody on my left I wasn't paying enough attention to. Let's see, there is that FS, which is getting chopped pretty hard here. Almost got the kill, but there is an enemy behind me, and now I'm just about to get focused by three enemies while my uh, while my team is, like, right here, but it happens. Let's see. Got the uh, assist on the FS. Somebody else killed it. There's the Slave Wraith. And side, tried to do a side swing, got hit by the bazooka just as I was coming out of boost, which was enough to stun me, and let that power gym kill me. But, ah, not a big deal. Round is almost over. Think we still have the lead. It went relatively well. Hooray, hooray. Yeah, we've got a 2,000 point lead. One of the enemies just disconnected because this is a rated match, and that is how rated matches happen. And yeah, so we did fairly well. And... Uh, I got stuck on this screen for a second while I was messing with, uh, with something uh, with my setup, so... Oh, wow, it just jumped. That's interesting. Um, 3,045, followed by 67,000 damage, and something along the lines of uh, seven kills, I believe. Most of which are, you know, Juagus, but uh, yeah, seven kills and three deaths, not terrible. So yeah, that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Overlord's another one of those anime I've never seen, but I seem to recall hearing decentish things about. It's probably on the eventually pile like so many other things. Heck, like so many other Gundam series at this point.